How about them goddamn birds, baby? Let's go. That's what I'm talking about, man. I, I was overall impressed with the performance of the offense, the defense, everyone. Uh, we started out the game hot, right down, bang, bang, boom. Honestly thought that Dallas kind of got a touchdown there, but hey, whatever. Sneak it in, cool. Intercepted uh, Trevor Simeon, what, twice? I, I can go on and on. TJ Edwards had a hell of a game. Him and Devont Devontae Taylor or whatever the hell. The guy, you know, we took him there, what, the third, fourth round of the 2000, excuse me, 20 draft. Uh, seems like he's developing. He is. He got hurt early on in the game or, like, what, second quarter, first quarter, whatever. He got hurt, but throughout this whole season that he actually has been getting playing time, he's actually been stepping up, and it seems like he is developing. He was a developmental piece. We knew that going, going right into it. I was like, bro, this guy ain't no starter or none of that. You keep getting all these developmental guys. It made no sense in that draft. Because you remember they got Reggard in the first round. Then they went with Hurts. I'm like, why Hurts? You got wins. And then, you know, this guy. And I'm like, whatever. But he's shown some promise. And him and Edwards together has been pretty solid. But T.J. Edwards had a hell of a game today. I mean, he had the interception on Simeon, like, real early in the game. He had a fumble recovery. Um, batted down the pass on the two-point conversion. At one point, I think he had eight or nine tackles. I don't know what he totally finished with. But that's what he had at one point. I said, man, this guy is doing the damn thing, bro. And I'm like, man, phew. that was another one. He had a possibility to get another interception, but it, I ain't going to lie. It was just a great play by Trevor Simeon to hold on to the ball, create with all the chaos going on, somehow create time and just rip it to his tight end for a touchdown. But overall, I mean, at one point we were beating them, what, 33-7 to seven or something, or 30-7, 30, 30 to seven, whatever. We're blowing the doors off these guys. Darius Slay, he deserves to be in the Pro Bowl conversation, as we know, and all freaking pro, this guy. Yeah, give the dude his credit. Give the man his respect. Put some respect on his damn name. It's about damn time. You know, and he balled out. Pick six, boom, to the house. Three touchdowns this year. But three touchdowns out of what, four weeks I think it was? Yeah, we beat the hell out the Lions. He had a fumble recovery in that one. The Broncos game. And then this game. If it serves me correctly. Yeah, this one's a pick six. The other one were fumble recoveries. Last week was an 82-yard fumble recovery. He's balling. He's literally playing the best he has as an eagle. And then, of course, late in the game, something happened. He left. I'm like, oh, my God. But whatever. So we come out of the second half. We have the lead. And I said, man, we got to keep the momentum going, keep our foot on the pedal, and keep just riding that thing. Foot on the gas and boom, boom, boom. Let's rock and roll. But you know what? No. We kind of lost some momentum. We were, it was, we were scoring. Then it was field goals, field goals, field goals. I'm like, come on, man. You ain't going to win a game doing this. And I, I was like, maybe it just when I, then like a lot of other people said. And I looked at it. You know, Sirianni got too cute in the second half. It's almost like, yeah, we're winning. We got this game in the bag. Don't worry about it. Just be conservative. We'll win this game kind of deal coming out of the half. But we ended up winning. But I'm happy about that. But I was getting pissed at one point because as I saw the momentum start to get lost, the Saints start to come back a little bit. And I said, you got to be kidding me. And you could see even the fans are booing this and that. Bullshit ass, roughing the passer calls and this and that. Whatever, but. You saw it, I'm like, man, they're getting momentum. <laughs> and they said the Saints are was one of the best four, fourth quarter teams in the league. And if you've seen last week against the Titans, they almost won that game, came back kind of. Um, so I said, don't tell me this, man. They're going to choke it up at home, bro. That wasn't the case. So, Sirianni was still kind of calling a cute little thing, blah, 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 getting too cute with the game planning, just trying to be conservative. But you know what? At the end of the day, we were down. No, nah, we were up, but I was like, man, if they get the ball back, the Saints have a chance here. Nope. Jalen Hurts sealed the damn deal. My man right there, I'm telling you, bro, he broke that guy's ankles, bro. He got that, dude, he broke his ankle, Bro, you would have thought dude was in shackles because he couldn't do nothing. As soon as he gets the ball, he's a read option type deal. I said, man, he's about to get tackled. And all I see is him put his foot in the ground and then back up, boom. This dude's laid out. I'm like, oh, my God, hit the hole and go. And he starts hitting it. Now, I thought maybe he was going to pick up a good game. No, nah, he psh, took it all away. Touchdown. Sealed the damn deal. I'm happy we won the game. Hell of a performance by the defense today, in my opinion. Yeah, they're playing Trevor Simeon, like I said before. They played Bridgewater Brid Brid last week. That's why it looked good, blah, blah, blah. You get it, you get it, you get it. But if you look at the remaining schedule, there's not elite quarterbacks on there besides maybe Dak Prescott. There is Daniel Jones. He's all right, but you know. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, but this was a good win, and we needed this. And I was going to make my you know preview video, whatnot you want to call it. But I really was getting real tight in time and everything. I said, you know what, just forget it. It's going to be too late and, you know, it'd be Sunday and people are not even going to watch it. Whatever. So 
But my whole theory was, man, they got to still run the ball. I don't care if this is the number one run defense in the league. You still got to run the ball against these guys because that's what got a success the past three weeks. You got to pound that ball, man. And that's what they did today. And people, number one run defense. I said, listen, last year, they haven't given a 100-yard rusher, I think, since, since 2018 or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it was. We went, they came into Philly, and we had two 100-yard rushers, one in Jalen Hurts, one in Sanders last year against them. This year, I said, I don't care if they're number one again, run that damn ball. Within the first half, we already had 152 yards rushing. And people are going to look at stats and go, well, the running backs don't have that many yards. Yeah, it's a combination of the running backs, whether it be Sanders and Howard, Boston, and also Jalen Hurts. And he, he puts up a lot of that. I mean, today, what, he had three rushing touchdowns? He had three rushing touchdowns today, Jalen Hurts. Uh, what, 70-plus-something uh, plus yards rushing. So I like it. And I know, don't get me wrong, Hurts didn't play the best game. Like, he wasn't out there like a quarter. Like, it wasn't like the Broncos game where he was playing, wheeling and dealing. He was throwing the ball and running. This was more of a ground and pound attack, ground and pound attack. A couple little slants here, a little this, a little that. Yeah, Goddard did have some drop balls. But that's why when he, we kind of lost the momentum, I said, man, this is not working now. Like, he needs to be a quarterback, drop back, pass that shit. Let's get it going. Because I was like, this is not working now. It's get, You know, you're getting cute with it, just doing these little plays here and there. But you know what? It worked out. We worked out good. We won the game. I'm happy about that. I kind of feel we win, but not like this. I mean, I was like, "Whoa!" Going into halftime, relax. I'm like, man, this is good. But then they started to make the they tried to make a comeback, and I said, "You got to be kidding me, man! You can't just win a game. You can't just do it." We got it though. First home win for us in the link since week 14 of 2020, bro. And we used to have the best home field advantage. It was like, you come to the Philly, oh, man, oh, that's a tough game. The crowd, the this and that, the weather, the atmosphere. We finally got a home win. And it's first of Nick Sirianni's as a head coach. I like what I see so far in terms of, you know, now they're, like I said, they just keep running that ball, man. Run the ball and pass when needed, especially with a quarterback like him who's trying to develop, you know. And defense, they played well. I was surprised by them today. I honestly was. Not surprised because it was Trevor Simeon, but still. And then, you know, of course, Alvin um, Kamara wasn't there. But overall, good team win. I might go back and rewatch the game to break down more like what I thought was, you know, good, what I thought was bad. But this is just a quick recap. You guys comment below on your thoughts. How do you guys feel about the win? Are you overhyped? Or you just feel good about it? Do you feel, oh, maybe they're going to run the table and all this nonsense? We'll see. But all I got to say is let's go birds, fly, goes fly. It feels good to have a win like that. It does. All right, y'all. Peace. Comment below. Subscribe. You know the whole deal. Hit follow me on Twitter. If you already don't, you probably already do. If you don't, whatever. All right, peace.